It's a bright sunny day here in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. We are having with us Sujit Thomas, who is there with British High Commission, Chennai, for last 15 years and he works with the trade. How was NGMA exhibition for you? Thanks, Hari. So NGMAC was sort of a good exhibition. This is a sort of an exploratory visit for us, coming here for the first time. But it's been quite a good event. We found a couple of UK companies like Renny Shaw who have a presence here. We found some other UK companies also who are sort of being represented here. So I think it's a sort of a good event. It's at least what we found out during our first visit. It was very nice to also see uh, the Deputy High Commissioner, Mr. Steve, coming and visiting these uh, Indian companies and talking about how India and UK can bring more cooperation. I think that itself is a serious thought from the High Commission. Uh, absolutely. So Steve, our Deputy High Commissioner, who was based here at the show yesterday, took this as an opportunity to come and visit the show and also to meet UK companies who have a presence here and who sort of represented here. See, when we talk about Indo-UK, it is not that we are having a relationship of 75 years we have a long, long, decades-old collaboration. If you see the education system, judiciary, we follow a lot of the British systems. So when it comes to manufacturing, I think there can be a lot of collaborations, a lot of associations can happen. How do you see that opportunities for India and UK? As you said, UK and India have a long-standing relationship which is there and which is sort of continuing to grow from strength to strength. Manufacturing sort of plays a very key role in that uh, relationship. There are already several UK companies who have their presence here in India. When I say presence, some of them have their established manufacturing facilities here. This goes on for a long time. India is very good in manufacturing, but UK is also good in manufacturing, but in a newer and in an innovative way. A lot of technological innovations takes place in the UK. This gives a sort of an opportunity for UK and Indian companies to work together in a very complementary way that is sort of a win-win situation for both UK and Indian companies. So some of the areas are in addition to the conventional areas which UK and Indian companies have a long-standing relationship. There are a lot of these new and emerging areas which are there which I call as a modern manufacturing themes, Industry 4.0, Digital Manufacturing, Smart Manufacturing, sustainable manufacturing, opportunities from transition to net zero, circular economy, a lot of these are emerging in new areas where UK and Indian companies can work together. India has committed to be carbon neutral by 2070. Now, there are a lot of opportunities as part of this, the manufacturing sector plays a key role in this. How can UK and Indian companies work together in this area. So like this, there are several emerging areas where UK and Indian companies can work together. UK is having a very traditional manufacturing. There can be a lot of technology transfers can happen between India and UK. I believe and India is also a very good destination. If that is a possibility. Any of these UK companies can collaborate with the JVO. If any Indian companies would like to do that, what they should do? See, that is what we are part of DBT, which is commercial arm of the British High Commission. We help UK companies who are looking to enter the Indian market and existing UK companies companies grow in the Indian market. We also help Indian companies who are looking to invest in the UK. We also help Indian companies who are looking for technology partnerships with UK companies. So if any Indian companies are looking for any technology partnerships, we would be able to identify and seek out UK companies with relevant experience, relevant capability and then you know try and introduce them to partners here in India where UK and Indian companies can work together. This is very interesting actually and I think we should keep this dialogue on how India can take it to the global level. We know that we need more and more technological support from European countries with Britain, with UK. We have a lot of similarities. We would like to take that as an advantage for Indian manufacturing. Thank you Mr. Thomas for giving your time and we wish you all the very best. Thank you very much. Sir.